So thank you everybody for joining us for today's webinar where we'll focus on getting familiar with NHA's platform and website as a new administrative user. Here at NHA, we are fully invested in the success of you and your candidates, and we take pride in doing what is right and are not afraid to use our voice if it moves the industry forward. We are here to help ensure that all of your learners, no matter their background or needs, feels confident and empowered to complete their required learning or and earn their accredited certification. So let's do a brief introduction to NHA, but before we talk about us, I wanted to take a moment to get to know you. So I'll launch a, a couple of polls and what option most closely ties to your role with your institution. There we go. All right, so you should see a, a poll pop up, All right? So your classroom educator, you'll be proctoring the exam. All right, I'll wait a few more seconds before I submit this. All right, let me go ahead and end the poll now. Looks like majority here are classroom educators. I'm gonna ask one more question, and that is what professions are you teaching at your institution? You can, it's multiple choice. You can select all if you want. All right, looks like CCMA is in the lead. Close second is phlebotomy. We pretty much have a little bit of everything on here. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the poll in a couple of seconds. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Looks like the majority are uh, CCMA and phlebotomy. So during today's session, we're going to review NHA and the resources we provide. Uh, we'll walk through your access to the NHA website and how you can be fully enabled to run your program from there and even do a live walkthrough before getting to Q&A. And remember to stick around with us through the end so you can be entered into the raffle. So... Now that we have seen a little bit about you, you should know that NHA is the largest frontline healthcare worker certification organization in the industry with over 1 million certified candidates. We are leading the industry and we use the resources and information from our experiences and learning partners to create learning materials that widen their skills and abilities within the health field and have shown to help candidates have a higher potential to earn their nationally accredited certification. Those resources come in many formats, starting with our nationally accredited certifications in two sections. Five of the eight certifications fall within the practitioner side of frontline healthcare, including medical assistant, phlebotomist, pharmacy technician, EKG, and patient care technician. There are also three certifications in an administrative capacity, which include billing and coding, medical administrative assistant, and e-health records. In addition, NHA develops comprehensive learning tools around key learning objectives for the healthcare professions we serve. These resources range from didactic learning in medical terminology or anatomy and physiology to the development of essential soft skills as well as clinical skills for medical assistants, administrative assistants, and pharmacy technicians. And these can be used across the entire learner's journey and can be packaged together to provide a comprehensive experience from start to finish. Now that you've seen a little bit about NHA, let's talk about the possible resources in a little more depth. But before we do, let me ask another quick question. All right, so what are you hoping to take away from today? 
All right, so take your time to read the options. It is a single choice. And if you select other, please post what other comment that is or what other thing you would like to take from today, if you could post it in the chat. Looks like the majority here are brand new to NHA and you need to know everything. Perfect. We'll try to cover as much as we can. All right, a few more seconds before closing this poll. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank you so much for taking the time. You should have already received a confirmation email from NHANow.com with a prompt to set up your administrative login. If you haven't seen this, check in your spam box or junk mail. This email will walk you through the first steps to set up your administrative login, which you access at nhanow.com. Once logged in, you have access to almost everything you could need to manage your learners and account from the home screen. This is your dashboard and is broken into two main categories. The center of the screen will provide you quick access to NHA's supplemental resources. This first link under Get Started will take you to test plans for all of NHA's eight nationally accredited exams, and they're all available to download from this link. This is an important area for you to know what NHA's exams will cover and to provide information to your candidates. We know this is important for you both. Which leads me to call out some information around a study NHA completed recently. Over 6,000 candidates across the country to try and uncover what the common themes are for what the biggest hurdles were for them to take their NHA exam. So out of the options listed, which one do you think was the most common issue reported? All right, so you should see a poll again appear on your screen so which one of these do you believe was the most common issue reported a few responses coming in Looks like majority is going to test anxiety low confidence to pass i'm gonna wait a few more seconds before posting the or before ending the poll All right, let's go ahead and end the poll now. So the answer is test anxiety, which we know can be addressed through preparation. And this is one of the many reasons why it's a best practice to get your candidates into their NHA account as soon as possible. We will be sending them welcome emails and information on preparing for their exam. Here are just some of the hundreds of comments from that survey that focused on uncertainty, not just around general anxiety, but not knowing if they're prepared. Have they learned all the things they need and worry about making it through the timed exam? Providing the exam test plans and NHA's resources or learning tools have shown to make a positive impact to your students. So going back to the other resources to help with all of this in your get started area. These may rotate throughout the calendar year to provide you access to quick links around the first steps and frequently asked questions, as well as resources on testing or implementing NHA's materials. Scrolling down your page will show you some of the most used how to resources that will walk you through the administrative steps you would need to manage your NHA account. And right in this list, you'll see the recently upgraded Knowledge Center. This is where you can do an open search for any resources you may need or look through the three core areas of the resources, including preparing learners to test, exam day troubleshooting, and supplemental implementation guides. Follow this option for exam guides and resources to be able to access any forms or technical requirements or search for any steps that you need utilizing the search bar. 
Like NHA's exam ready checklist, which is a resource for administrators, walk you through the month or so before an exam occurs. The library of resources has additional tools for you as well. Searching through this page will take you to video guides and PDFs to help you, including setting up the learning content, providing access to candidates, opening exam dates, viewing reporting, and monitor exam applications and results. Even tools to share with your learners to help them through their preparation process. The NHA exam online study materials are based on the NHA test plan for that certification and includes an interactive study guide as well as a series of practice tests designed to look and feel just like the exam. This package also provides the NHA focus review, a personalized study feature to help candidates as they navigate through their practice tests. These should be assigned digitally to each candidate so they can move to the materials on their own, as well as provide adequate reporting for both group and individual learner growth. That focus review is a secondary tool which is separate from the study guide and is specific to each practice test attempt to help candidates focus further on those areas that they may still be struggling in. Those study packages are available for preparing for any of NHA's exams. Now let's review the other learning materials available from NHA. Starting with core learning, NHA has learning content focused on either anatomy and physiology or medical terminology, and these address just the right amount of content for learners in entry-level roles through interactive and engaging online materials. NHA has a full pharmacy technician suite of materials that start with inherent learning on becoming a pharmacy technician through the pharmacier. Though mapped to NHA's exam, it is designed to meet the ASHP didactic standards for learning in this critical role. We also have primary learning tools on medical math, dosage and calculations in the pharmacy or math. There are skills developers for your medical assistants as well, which include the MA Skills Builder Clinical and Clinical Plus. These provide an interactive learning experience to help them develop and execute 39 clinical competencies employers are needing in an entry-level medical assistant. And in the Clinical Plus, we also address the core foundational knowledge necessary behind those skills. In NHA's Medical Administrative Assistant, Skills Developers, the MA Administrative and Administrative Plus focus on the technical and job-ready knowledge to handle front and back office administrative responsibilities in skills development and core knowledge. Though we know the clinical skills are essential, administrative duties are a large part of the MA's role. These tools, they're also applicable for your office administrative staff. Additional skills developers or career laddering options include an upskilling and professionalism, starting with personability. This is available in both the clinical and pharmacy setting and uses online simulations and role play to develop abilities in teamwork and emotional intelligent, intelligence and communication. You can ladder further by leveraging principles of health coaching, another immersive learning tool with realistic scenarios to continue the learning and communication, but also population health management and motivational interviewing. If you are in a patient-centered care environment, any member of the care team could deepen their understanding of what it means to work in this quality versus quantity environment by using the assessment-based certificate program, Team-Based Care. Another resource you can also obtain from your NHA representative are NHA's implementation guides. These guides are available to you, will outline the content, implementation suggestions, and even the average time it should take for a candidate to navigate through any of the NHA study materials.
You can see here a snapshot across just four of our eight certification prep packages and the time it can take an average candidate to work through just the study tutorial portion, which can range widely. These guides are available for all of NHA's learning resources. Specifically for all, all of our NHA's core learning resources and some of our exam materials, we also provide implementation toolkits that can include downloadable and editable PowerPoint presentations aligned to the core learning, optional lesson plans outlining the core content and suggestions for implementation, optional testing banks and resources to implement, additional activities to help scrub and polish the learning, walkthrough videos unique to the product content, and mapping resources to accreditation textbooks and test plans. In fact, we have mapping resources for our exam preparation resources too, which you can request from your NHA representative called alignment guides. These are unique to the certification type and include, and include an outline of the full test plan, identifying how many scored questions there will be on the exam in each domain. This also will map out where in the NHA study guide that content is covered and if there are any additional resources within that learning content to help with the process, including videos and games. This is a wonderful tool to use to align to your students learning, as well as review your program content to ensure there aren't any large gaps in the learning materials. There are also some open columns as well, so you can plug in where in your book week or program, you are covering the core content. NHA has full program maps that you could use to implement any or all of these products and help with the learner journey from start to finish. Here's one example of our medical assistant pathway, but we have many different versions. If you would like to know more about these, reach out to your NHA representative. All right, so we want to take a quick moment to see if there's have been any major questions regarding any of the resources we just walked through. Hi, Diego, Mary? this is Mary. At this time, we do not have any questions. Perfect. All right, we'll continue on. Thank you, Mary. Now, I know that that was a lot that we just covered, and the survey link you'll get at the end of today's session. Be sure to note if you'd like anyone to follow up with you directly on any of the resources we were reviewing. Your NHA contact will be able to follow up with you with more information and answers. Now, that's, we've, now that we've seen your resources, let's talk about your access to the website and even get into a live demo. So we review the resources part of the dashboard. The other portion of the NHA website is on the left-hand side in your navigation bar. This is where you can find your administrative shortcuts from viewing your inventory and creating your courses to pulling reports for your program and study materials, uh, monitoring candidate applications and exam results, and depending on your role, adding or removing additional administrative users, and even viewing your exam calendar, creating test dates, and proctoring the exam. In fact, right from here is where you can get your learners started with creating their personal logins. Now, if your institution is using NHA's LMS integration, you'd want to follow the normal steps for learners to access their, your LMS. But for everyone else, you can invite your candidates to set up their logins well before providing any learning resources through the account invitation feature right from your home screen helping to ensure that all is ready to go when it's time to start their studying. So as I mentioned earlier, it's a best practice to get your learners to set up their NHA account as early as possible. And we have seen that statistically, those who do are more likely to take their NHA certification and pass. All right, so let's get into that live walkthrough that I mentioned. So. I'm going to pull up my demo account here. 
right? So here is uh, what your account should look like. If it looks different, please let us know. That means that you probably have a candidate account and you should have an administrative account. All right, so the first thing is, let's talk about the help center, right? So we do have the help center here, right? So I do like to open in the new tab and let's take, just take a quick look, right? So you saw a screenshot from the presentation and here are those three links that you can navigate, but the search bar is, is really helpful, right? So for example, we're gonna talk about real quick today, briefly, we're gonna talk about how to create an NHA account. All right, so how to create a course, not an account, I'm sorry, how to create a course. And then once you create a course, it's gonna be how to invite your candidates to a course, right? So you definitely have this information available to you in the Help Center. Now, we also have a chat box right down here, right? So this chat button will take you to our customer service team. So you'll put your name, email, and what the subject is that you need help with, and somebody will help you as soon as they can. So before we talk about creating a course, the first thing you wanna do is check your inventory, right? So you're gonna click here where it says inventory. Right, and let's say, for example, we're gonna create a course for our CCMA 3.0 prep, which includes the study guide and the practice test. So I know I have nine, right? So I actually have seven students, which is perfect. I'll have two left over from the next group, right? Now, when creating a course, the first thing you wanna do is click where it says courses. If you already have a course created, this is where you can view your current course by clicking course details. But let's say you don't have a course yet. You're going to click this button right up here that says new course. All right from here, the name is a required field, right? So we're going to call this one test CCMA 2024. And the start date and the end dates are not required fields, but this is a good visual representation for when the course is supposed to begin and when it's supposed to end. Right, so my course will begin next week and it will end in about two months. Let's call it July 31st, right? So now we have our dates. So from here, we're gonna scroll down and now we're gonna add the course materials. So we wanna add the CCMA online study guide, which is right here, and the CCMA online practice test because I did purchase the bundle. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom to the very end, and then you're gonna click this button that says create course. Once you create your course, it's gonna take you back to your courses. And if you did input start dates, if it's the most recent start date, it's gonna be the first one on the list. All right, now, how are we gonna invite students? Now that we have somewhere to place them, you're gonna come right up here where it says roster. You can use this one here. And then you're gonna click here where it says invite candidates. And you'll just begin to type in the emails. Right, you can follow this example right here where it's it's email comma space, email comma space. If you have a spreadsheet with all the students' emails already, you can just go ahead and copy all the emails and paste them on here, but just make sure that they're separated by a comma and a space. You can check addresses and then send those invites out. All right, now that your students have been accessing the content, right, they're done, it's test time. Now, it is important that you create the exam at least two weeks before the exam date itself, right? So when we're scheduling an exam, we're gonna come right up here where it says schedule exam. All right, so now we're gonna take a look here, right? So the very first one is testing method. It will always be online. The max number of applications allowed, this will limit how many students will apply for this exam, right? I said I had seven. The exam date, right? I'm gonna select, let's say somewhere in August, August 15. Now the application deadline needs to be eight days or more from the exam date, right? August 15th is the exam date. August 7th is the last day that they can register for this exam. Exam details, this is where you can put the time and location, right? So let's say room one at 10.30 a.m., all right? The purchase order number. So if you have a purchase order number, this is where you can input it. And again, it is an optional field. And I'm gonna select my exam, which will be CCMA. Then you're gonna request exam date. 
All right, so under upcoming exam, so if I, it, we're here now, but I wanna select out 90 days because my exam is in August and it won't show yet. But this example that we have here is perfect uh, because it'll show you the exam date, the last day that they can register, the details of this exam, um, how many applicants I have available or, or how many students can apply for this exam, the test method, the status of this exam, which will be open, and the exam type. The status of this exam will stay open up until the 19th, right, the application deadline. On this example, on May 20th, the status will then change to closed, and no one can register for the exam at that point. Right, so you're going to receive an email actually asking you to approve the roster. If you forget to approve the roster, NHA will automatically approve the roster for you 48 hours or two days before the exam date. Now we have this edit button. You can make some edits from here. Well, you can edit. Let's say you're going to add more students. You have more students that are ready to test. You're going to put you know up it to 13, 14. Now, you cannot change the exam date itself. If you need to change the exam date, you need to contact NHA Customer Service. You could change the application deadline, right? But I can't go any up any past that the eight days, right? But I can go before, nine days of the exam, 10 days before the exam. I can change the exam details and then update the purchase order number if necessary. All right, we're going to go back. So once your learners begin to apply for the exam, you want to monitor their applications, right? To monitor exam applications, it's pretty simple. You're going to click this button that says view exam applications. All right. And then either if they're testing via third party or a PSI location, their names will populate here. But if they're testing on, on site, their names will populate here on their first party applications. If names, when names begin to appear, what you're looking for on the status is going to say pending. Well, it'll say pending approval, but the approval word doesn't fit. So just look for the pending. If the status says new or unpaid, that means that this candidate did not finish the exam application and will not appear on the exam roster. All right, so that'll conclude our live walkthrough. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next piece. Um, so one of the biggest items we haven't covered today is on reporting resources. And we will be holding additional webinars, some focusing just on these tools. So for now, you'll know that the moment a candidate accesses their study materials, no matter the learning content, reports will begin to load. These include filterable tools, downloadable PDFs, and deep analytics to provide you clarity in your learner's process. NHA's Learning Insight Center has reports that highlight, among other things, progress through the modules, performance in assessments, and time spent in study. So again, today's webinar is not about that content, but we will hold others. So keep an eye out in the upcoming events page to register for future sessions. As a reminder, NHA wants you to be able to address your questions when they happen. So we've already reviewed the how-tos and knowledge centers, but please know these self-guided resources are your first line of defense for both you and your students on what to do and the mechanics of how our resources and website work. There's tons of great stuff in here to use throughout the program, including a best practices video to share with your students using their prep materials. If the answer you need isn't found there, then please use our client care team. They are, they are that live chat that I mentioned and the Help Center phone line, and they're available extended hours, but not 24. This means that you and your students don't have to wait until your NHA contact is free to answer any questions that are urgent. This group of people are incredible, and they're all located here in the U.S., and their goal is to answer your questions and will stay on with you as long as you need. So please have some patience during peak call times. 
In addition, you have your NHA account representative. If you don't know who your personal contact is, please be sure to include an inquiry that in that survey that we'll be posting soon. They are here to help with all other tools and resources and to ensure you have everything you need to be successful and empower your learners to earn their certifications. If you or your institution would like any additional training, either as a group or individually, your client executive can connect with the client experience team to get something scheduled for you. So revisiting our initial ask of the items you were hoping to learn today, I'm going to post another question. So, so what are you hoping to revisit? All right, so you should see a poll pop up. All right, I have a few responses coming through. I'm going to wait a few more seconds before I close this poll. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the poll now. Everybody, thank you so much for answering these questions. So before we get to q and I wanted to reiterate that this has been recording, and anyone who registered for this session will receive the recording from today's webinar. If we can't or haven't addressed your questions in the Q&A, at the end of today, we'll be capturing all questions and we'll work hard to get in touch with you directly for any additional assistance. Also, I wanted to take a moment to make sure you all know how thankful we are for you and want to personally thank you for all that I know that you're doing and for being here with me today. You work incredibly hard, and we know that you are truly heroes. So every day, putting yourselves out there and working these crazy hours. So from all of us here at NHA, uh, thank you. All right. So again, so before we wrap up, are there any questions that we want to answer live, Mary? Well, one just came in. I answered it. Um, it was, um, how do we add items to our inventory? Perfect. Yeah, it's a great question. So that's a, uh, you need to contact your NHA sales representative and let them know what you need. And then they'll be able to help you out in adding whatever inventory you need to add to your account. Um, I want to add as well that thank you, Lauren, for the reminder. So Lauren posted the, the, the survey in the chat. So if you can please take the time to click those links and uh, complete those surveys um, for us, it definitely helps us um, better improve these webinars if we need to. All right. Mary, any other another, questions? Yes, another question came in. Is there a printable study guide that we can use with our students? Yes, there is. There is a printable study guide, although we recommend that you, you utilize our online resources because it provides a better learning experience for your learners. It has the flashcards available online, but if you still prefer to do printed study guides, um, just make sure you let your NHA sales rep know. Uh, just also note that our practice assessments will not be printed. Our, all of our practice assessments are exclusively online, especially because it comes with that great tool that we talked about, that focused review, uh, which is their personalized study guide, right? So the study guide, um, printed study guide is available. Just make sure you let your NHA rep know. Okay, and in that study guide is where the modules are located. So that is something that is purchased through their um, account manager to get that prep in hand. Also, the last question that came in is exams are prepaid beforehand and kept in inventory. Do they expire? There is an expiration date to those exams. Um, so if you're not from, uh, sure um, when that expiration date is for those exam codes, uh, make sure you contact your NHA representative to get a date on when they, when they expire. Hey, Diego, that's all the questions I have for now. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for uh, joining today's uh, webinar and also asking questions. We appreciate it. So again, from all of us here at NHA, thank you for joining today's webinar and have a, a wonderful day. Thank you, Diego. You're welcome.